Hello. It is the last day of April. And I'm going to read Letting God. April 30th. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Matthew 5, 37. There was once a plumber who wrote a letter to the government agency in charge of plumbing regulations. Let me get closer. I just remembered I have to get closer. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> there was once a plumber who wrote a letter to government agency in charge of plumbing regulations. In it, he said he had discovered that hydrochloric acid was great for cleaning out clogged drains. A bureaucrat wrote back, the efficiency of hydrochloric acid is indisputable, but the corrosive residue is in compatible with metal permanence. The plumber was delighted. <laughs> he wrote back and said he was glad the government agreed with him. The same bureaucrat sent a second letter. We wish to emphasize that we must refrain from assuming any responsibility for the production of toxic and noxic residue with hydrochloric acid and consequently must most emphatically recommend some alternative procedure. Again, the plumber misunderstood. And again, he wrote back saying he was glad the government agreed with him. Finally, in desperation, the bureaucrat wrote, don't use hydro hydrochloric acid. It eats the hell out of the pipes. Thank God the core of our program and of recovery in Christ is simple. The straightforward messages and procedures of the 12 steps and the gospel are crystal clear. The slogans and the scriptures ring with pure tones of faith, hope, and love. The hard part is not the understanding. What's hard is the acceptance and the performance. Lord, you are so straightforward. Help me to be the same. Amen. That's good. That's about, um, I feel, uh, being honest, too. And, uh, <coughs> I'm really thankful to, um, not gonna have to deal with a certain situation and, um, quote-unquote problem anymore because I was finally honest. I was trying to be nice and be... Um, I was trying to be nice and accepting and again, I was accepting unacceptable behavior and unacceptable, um, really it was disrespect, honestly, <laughs> honestly, disrespect, um, in consideration, rudeness, <laughs> um, and so when I finally spoke up and, and, and stood up for myself, um, things got better. I mean, they, they initially got worse and I'm like, okay, great. Just what I needed, more hassle. And um, it initially got worse and, um, but then it got better, so. And I was like, okay. I originally thought, oh no, I did the wrong thing. And I did, I was, um, I was being, um, what do you call it? Um, sort of baiting, uh, when someone's trying to get a reaction out of you so they can point, my ex did this all the time. And so, so it's like, I didn't really expect to be put in this situation again, but it wasn't really my doing. Um, so, but it was really similar to with my ex, like they say something or do something and then 
your outrage and you get mad and you start screaming and then they're like look at you wow you're over look wow you're so angry you're overreacting <laughs> and that's why it's good um listen to um dr romani and i knew like almost like immediately after it happened i was like oh my goodness he he baited me and i fell for it I lost it and and then I got pointed at me and and I was just like oh man how could I fall for that again how could I fall for that again but um yeah but uh <laughs> happened one more time cuz got to get something else in there right before leaving um so it was about the, the 30, about this time last month. <laughs> and, uh, the things. I, I, uh, I, I want to say it. I want to say it so bad. It's so insane. Let's say it's, it's, let's just say, it's not petty to expect someone to clean up their uh, pubic hair after they've been manscaping. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh, I just said that. Oh my gosh, I better cut that part out. I better learn how to edit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but um, yeah, but no, not, not even, not only did they not get a reaction out of them, I don't even like, we, we speak through the landlady. Don't even speak to this person so but anyway they they got him to clean it up so that was good but um yeah and thankfully i didn't i didn't i bleached the tub after that but i didn't really realize um what happen but when I put two and two together I was like oh my gosh my ex used to shave in the shower he's Asian he hardly had any facial hair like he only had to shave like once a week and he would shave in the shower and he, and he got a little mirror that he would put in there but normal men don't do that I mean you know, women do because they shave their legs. But then I was like, why is why is there a razor in the shower? It's a guy. It's a guy with a beard. <laughs> and then I went, oh my god, that is so disgusting. Oh my god, where do you get this stuff from, dude? Um. Officially, you have the award of the worst tenant ever. And the award goes to... Okay, I can't put on any of this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm done. I, I, I don't think I can... I don't think I better post any of this. I think I have to start all over. Oh, I have to learn to edit. That's what I have to do. Bye. <laughs>